Okay, so hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I've got a really exciting video from Bune A Q and A. So I haven't done a Q and A in ages, and I thought, why not do one? Because you all seem to like them. You get to know the gossip about me. But I thought, why not do another one? Because I haven't done one in a while. So I asked for some questions over my Instagram. I got some lovely questions. Ooh, I'm not going to be holding back in this video. You know how it is. I'm just going to say what I want. Oh, shut up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I know my hair looks a little bit odd, but we're gonna leave it how it is. Talk to me nice. Talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes. Okay, let's start. So, have you ever worked with a brand and once they send you the items, you don't like them? To be honest, when I get when I get um like emails through and I'm I'm thinking like oh I usually know if I'm gonna like something or not so like if it's something I will like I'll know so I'll say yes you know does that make sense and if it's something I know I won't like or my followers won't like I won't however sometimes obviously there's something some things I do like so say for example a hair care product and it gets sent to me and I don't really like it and I'm just not vibing with it. I'm, I'm like, no, I'm sorry, I don't want to go ahead with the sponsorship. Because obviously it's a bit embarrassing if I start advertising shite products to my followers, trust me. So, no, I, to be honest, yeah, I mean, yes, definitely. But only probably like once or twice. Because usually I'm quite a good judge at what I'll like. And usually I just say no if I think I won't like it. But, yeah, I'm, I, bleh, I only advertise things that I think actually have helped me and worked have you ever considered a career in the nhs no mm, actually tell a lie i have i did want to work being like a psychologist or because i've been through i was under great on street for years um for many different reasons and i always wanted to work and like help other people but that was only like for a year i wanted to do that and then i just kind of went off the idea um but no i've never wanted to I've always found it quite interesting to be a midwife, but I could never do that. But yeah, no, I haven't. What are your plans after college? So, if you don't actually know, I'm in fashion college at the moment in London. I really like it. However, I knew I didn't really want a job in fashion. I knew it. Like, in the back of my head, I knew it. But I just wanted to... I just kind of wanted to go to that college because I... I always know, I know it sounds so stupid, but I always know I wouldn't have a normal job. I don't want to say normal job. But like... Obviously, YouTube might not be around forever, but if it's not, I wanted to have backup. So I wanted to get my, it, basically I'm doing a level three course, which is equivalent to A-levels. And I can actually go to university if I want with the equivalent to A-levels. I was never gonna go to university. However, I am now, well, I think I'm going to if I get all the right like grades I need. However, I'm just taking a little turn. I am hoping to go to an acting university. So, um, you might all think, oh, that's all of a sudden. It's actually not. I have done, I did musical theatre, drama for like nine years um, and dance and everything. And then I quit because I w went through a lot about the age of 12. Like my whole, like it was just awful. My mental health, just everything. So I just quit all, which I really regret. However, literally since I could talk, I've wanted to be an actress. In my nursery reports when I was younger, it literally, my teacher was like, she needs to be an actress. That was when I was two. I was literally two. So it is my dream. Um, obviously I know it's such a hard industry to get into and it isn't the best paying at first, but it's not really, I, would, I wouldn't want to do it to earn money. I, I want to do it because it literally is my passion. Like I love it so much. And probably, I've probably, I went off the idea of acting probably for age 12, age 13, age 14. And then when I met Ellis, I got all my confidence back. Thanks, Ellis. Love you, babes. And ever since then, I've kind of just really wanted to do it again. And I really do regret um, not going to an, not going to an acting college. But who cares? I am in an agency. Um, I do have experience. I have um, stage. I've done so many stage performances. Um, so yeah, but um, yeah, that's my plans for now. Would you ever make an OnlyFans? No, I don't think I would. No, I don't think I would. I don't think there's anything. My legs really aching. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing it. I think do what you want. Like if you want to be a stripper, if you want to be a prostitute, if you want to do OnlyFans, so what is up to you? Um, but no, I wouldn't. Just because I think personally, I would feel embarrassed selling. 
pictures of myself for money but then again I don't think it's embarrassing if other people do it, it's weird, I do that a lot like I feel like I look weird in some things and then I just know other people don't, does that make sense? Like, it's the same kind of aspect as that so if you do it and you're watching this, well done because you're probably earning good money but I personally wouldn't do it Are you tired of being misjudged by people? Yes Oh my god this is the worst thing ever People think they know me down to a T and they don't. Do you know what? I can come across in so many bad ways that I'm not. I know I'm a nice person. I'm going to put that out there. Do you know what? I might not be the prettiest. I might not look the best. I might not have the best body. But I know I have a heart of gold. Like, I know I do. And when people insult my appearance, I don't care. When people insult the way I look, I don't care. It's when people insult my my myself. When people insult my personality, I cannot stand it. Because... I know I'm nice. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Are you and Ellis having children in the next three years? No way, I'm 16. I'm not having children at 19. I wanna live my life. Again, if you have children at a young age, I think you're doing great. Not what I'm saying. Personally, I'm just, I just couldn't do it. I wanna have my first, I wanna be engaged quite soon. In Ellis, I know you're watching this. We well, are editing it. Um, I don't know, I want to be married before kids, it's just a preference, I just, I don't know why, I just think it's cute, definitely want to be married before kids, but I want my first kid about 27, 20, 26, 27, 28, around that age, my mum had me at 28 and we have a great age gap, uh, I, that's just my personal preference, so literally in like 11 years, I want a child, not in 3 years, definitely not. Would you ever get anything done like a boob job? No. Are you saying I need a boob job? <laughs> I don't think I would. I, first of all, I'm scared of things like that, like, massively. And second of all, I don't really, I don't know, I just like, I don't, I wouldn't like when people, like if people were like, oh you're so pretty, I'd be like, yeah, but I've had my lips, my chin, my jaw done. If you get things done and it makes you confident, do it. If you have a bump on your nose you don't like, get rid of it. If you don't like your small boobs, make them bigger like that is completely up to you and I think if you have an insecurity it's great because it can help you but what I think isn't great is when people really just get addicted and people that don't even need it get it like people that have a perfect nose but want it even more perfect people obviously there's nothing wrong with that but it's just my personal opinion people that want things to look so ridiculously perfect and it's just like calm down you were naturally pretty and now you're not naturally pretty because you've got you've got gel inside your face like if it makes you feel confident that is fine but i just think people need to start enhancing their natural beauty because you're all beautiful in your own ways your biggest turn off um i don't know i don't actually know i'm trying to think imagine if i was single um probably thinking they're big that really like bugs me like thinking they're proper big and they're thinking they're above everyone else that is yeah that's definitely my biggest turn off did you lose your virginity to ellis and was you ready yes i did i i'd only ever kissed boys before ellis i'd never done anything with boys before um i wasn't really that kind of girl who had a massive interest in getting with boys at all which a lot of other kids my age were and he kind of just came along and I've always been inquisitive, like, I've always been a very inquisitive child and I just want, you know, I just wanted to know what it was like. It's fine and we're still together, we're still together and yeah, so I, won't, I don't regret it. Yeah, it just happened, I was definitely ready, I, if I wasn't ready I wouldn't have done it. Um, but I think, I don't really think things through, like, my virginity was never a big thing to me, like, I never sat there thinking, oh my god, I want to lose it, or, like, really overthinking it. Like, I think people do overthink it a lot. As long as you're safe, it is just, you know. Um... <laughs> Are you going to go back to your natural brown or get it done once the hairdresser's open? I am going to get highlights still because it was never the hair dye that ruined my natural hair. Um, obviously it doesn't help but it wasn't the thing that really ruined it. The thing that really ruined it was the extensions because we went into a lockdown and I couldn't get maintenance and I decided to leave them in and they scraggled up all my real hair and it all came out. That's why I've got short hair. Um, and my hair, my natural hair used to literally be like down to here. Just don't mess with your hair. Anyway, I just prefer it blonde. I've tried going back brown. I don't like it. Like I'm mostly brown now to be honest, but I just love being a bit more blonde. So I'm definitely going on blonde. 
Um, oh my god, this is hilarious. Your f does your friend Katie use you for clout? Guys, you need to know about me, Katie. We've been best friends since day I came out of the womb. <laughs> Literally, we've been best friends since day one. So, our mums were best friends. They grew up together when they were younger. Um, and then, I obviously, Katie's a year older than me. So, when I was born, we've been best friends since then. We, sh we've stuck together like glue. We are, she is my soulmate in a friend. Like, I mean that, deep down. I think we are soulmates. Like, it sounds stupid. We could talk, we could not talk for six months. The minute we see each other. No, so she does not use me for clout at all first time using a tampon oh my god okay so i was 12 i got my period at 12 anyway we we're going swimming i was with katie it was an outdoor swimming pool in the summer and i didn't want to miss out on it because i'd never been in an outdoor swimming pool in england and i was like this is exciting so i put a tampon in well i was trying to my mum was trying to shove it up me because i was screaming i was 12 by the way um and i was literally like really scared and then we couldn't get it up me so I was like right I don't know what I'm gonna do and then we got to the <laughs> we got to the swimming place <laughs> and Katie was on her period too no she wasn't no she wasn't that's a lie she hadn't got her period by that point <laughs> I was on my period obviously I just got two memories muddled up there anyway we we're in the like changing room and I couldn't do it and I was really panicking so Katie was trying to help me I was like help me <laughs> um and uh, <laughs> We got it up and then I went in the pool in a white bikini and I put the, I think I might have put the tampon in in the wrong hole Because um, I bled basically. Oh, I've always been quite light. So luckily it wasn't like that embarrassing I just kind of like shimmied my way out the pool. What's the best part about being in a relationship? I'd say it's always having someone there and do you know what me and Ellis was I feel like people don't know us and it really annoys because I truly think we are like we are bestest of friends but also he's the best boyfriend to me I could ask for in every way he's the most romantic little thing ever but he's also just my bestest bestest friend in the whole world like literally I don't I don't feel like I need anyone but him because he is my best friend and we've been together two and a half years and it's never changed he's always been my best friend he's always been my absolute rock and I love him yeah, there we go. I went a bit deep there, didn't I? Do you and your sister argue off camera? Well, we don't argue on camera either. We don't really argue at the much at the moment, but we do definitely argue like a lot. We're both very, very strong opinioned. Again, we're both very. We just say what we think. Like we don't really care. So yeah, we do argue, but it's not awful. Okay, that is the end of the video because I'm not really sure. I didn't get that many questions this time. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Oh, there you go, there. And yeah, I love you all so much. Comment down below. I don't know, anything you want.